The White House's nightmarish website woes surrounding healthcare.gov won't be fully resolved until at least the end of November. That's the message from the former presidential advisor picked to lead cleanup efforts for the site. In 36 states, healthcare.gov is the online hub of the new healthcare marketplaces, and it's not working. That former advisor is longtime presidential problem solver Jeffrey Zients, who has filled a handful of economic leadership roles in the Obama administration. Friday, he spoke to reporters by conference call. It'll take a lot of work, and there are a lot of problems that need to be addressed. But let me be clear, healthcare.gov is fixable. The White House also selected a single contractor, Quality Software Services Incorporated, to take over management of the website as it's revamped. So what exactly are the issues crippling healthcare.gov? Zients says the first problem to tackle, the error-filled reports the website sends to insurance companies when someone enrolls in the online marketplace. But there's also the fact that three of every ten people who try to enroll aren't even able to sign up. Despite the headaches caused by healthcare.gov, President Obama's main message through this whole ordeal is focused on the big picture. Let me remind everybody that the Affordable Care Act is not just a website. It's much more. But reporters and pundits, even those who support health care reform, argue the program's flaws are also about more than just a website. Ezra Klein says the White House's trouble drawing young, healthy people to the program means higher premiums for everyone. And it will likely be especially tough to reach the young people watching The Daily Show. Yes, apparently the healthcare.gov website has 99 problems, but a glitch is all of them. <laughs> That end of November deadline to repair healthcare.gov might be cutting it a bit close for those who want coverage beginning January 2014. The cutoff date for that is December 15th. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs.